is the man who walked between the twin towers. By Mordecai Gerstein. Copyright nineteen uh, two thousand four. The man who walked between the twin towers. By Mordecai Gerstein, Roaring Book Press, Brookfield, Connecticut. To Philippe Petit, for the gifts of his courage, his impeccable art, and his mythic sense of mischief. Copyright 2003. Once there were two towers side by side. They were each a quarter of a mile high. 1,340 feet. The tallest buildings in New York City. A young man saw them rise into the sky. He was a street performer. He rode a unicycle. He juggled balls and fiery torches. But most of all, he loved to walk and dance on a rope he tied between two trees. He looked not at the towers but at the space between them and thought what a wonderful place to stretch a rope, a wire on which, on which to walk. Once the idea came to him, he knew he had to do it. If he saw three balls, he had to juggle. If he saw two towers, he had to walk. That's how Philippe Petit was. Hadn't he danced? on a wire between the steeples of Notre Dame Cathedral above his amazed home city, Paris? Why not here, between these twin towers? Of course, he knew that, as in Paris, the police and the owners of the towers would never allow it. You must be crazy, they would say. You'll fall for sure. And so Philippe, that was the young man's name, began a plan to do it secretly. The buildings are not quite finished, he thought. Maybe if I dressed as a construction worker... Early on an August evening, he and a friend entered the South Tower. They got a 440-pound reel of cable and other equipment into the elevator, took it to the unfinished top ten floors, and waited till nightfall when everyone had gone. Then they carried everything up. 180 stairs to the roof. At midnight, on the other tower's roof, two more friends tied a thin, strong line to an arrow and shot it across to Philippe, 140 feet away. It 
it missed and landed on a ledge 15 feet below the roof. Bad luck, thought Philippe. He crawled down to the ledge over the sparkling city and got the arrow. To its line, he tied a stronger line, which his friends pulled back to their tower. To his end of the stronger line, Philippe tied the cable on which he would walk. It was seven-eighths of an inch thick. His friends pulled the cable over to their tower, but it was so heavy that it slipped from Philippe's grip. The cable's middle plummeted toward the street, pulling the friends on the other tower to the very edge. Philippe, just in time, secured his end. It took three hours to pull the cable back up. Frantically, as the stars faded, they tightened it between the towers. It was past dawn before they were ready. Out to the very middle, Philippe Petit walked as if he were walking on air itself. Many winds whirled up from between the towers and he swayed with them. He could feel the towers breathing. He was not afraid. He felt alone and absolutely free. A woman coming from the subway might have been the first to see him. Look! Someone walking on a wire between the twin towers. Everyone stopped and looked up. They gasped and stared. It was astonishing. It was terrifying and beautiful. A quarter of a mile up in the sky, someone was dancing. The police saw it, too. Officers rushed to the roofs of the towers. You're under arrest, they shouted through bullhorns. Philippe turned and walked the other way. Who would come and get him? For almost an hour, back and forth, he walked, danced, ran and knelt in a salute upon the wire. 